Let's review some of the advanced features of Hootsuite in five minutes or less. So let's take a look at some of the other really cool features of Hootsuite. Now you've got your panel over here which you can do various things. I can come into settings. Now this is really nice in here because one of the things I can do with settings is I can come down to RSS Atom and what's great about this is this will allow me to automatically tweet out to my followers when blogs I follow have new posts. So as you can see here's a lot of the blogs that I'm going to read on a daily or weekly basis and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let Hootsuite send these out for me and uh, again that's really powerful because it, it keeps your followers informed and this is real easy to set up. I'm, I would just click plus and, and here and then I would add the web address of whatever the blog is and you can set up when you want things sent out and all of that and then you'd save it. So that is a really nice feature. Another great advanced feature on Hootsuite is the auto scheduler similar to that one for the blogs but I can do that with any page. Let's say that I am on a page here. I like to read Valerie Strauss on uh, the Washington Post website. Great education blogger. Now let's say I like this and I want to send it out. but So uh, I don't want to overwhelm my followers. I may have sent out a bunch of tweets recently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Hootsuite schedule the tweet for me. So now I've added this. It's real easy to add. and You can do that through your Hootsuite tools. And I've got over here in the corner, I've got this little owl for Hootsuite. And I click on that. What it's going to do is it's going to populate the tweet for me. Okay, so it, it gives a little bit of the blog post, the title. Uh, it says that it's from the answer sheet. And uh, then, I, I don't really need this Firefox. I can get rid of that just to shorten it up a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of hitting send now, I'm going to click the little calendar which says scheduling. And what's really awesome now is I'm going to let Hootsuite schedule this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say auto schedule. And now Hootsuite is going to decide when is the best time to send out that tweet so my followers aren't overwhelmed with messages. One of my favorite features on Hootsuite under settings is the archives. And what I can do in here is I can set up uh, my favorite hashtags and I can get an archive from Hootsuite of the tweets that have gone in there. So you see I've got some of these set up already. So what's great is I can take a look at this anytime I want. So I can click on download archive and uh, I could download it if I want. I can just view it right here which is terrific as well. So I can see when people have left things in the LEC plugged in hashtag and uh, that's really nice so I've got that archived and this is a really good way that I keep track of people who send tweets to that hashtag. Uh, you know imagine if you were a teacher and you, you, you were using Twitter for your classroom and you tweeted something at your students and you wanted to know that they clicked on it. Uh, this analytics page is really tremendous and it would help you out uh, a lot. You can come up to the specific day if you wanted to. So, you know, if, if I want to pick a day, if I want to look at the 15th and I want to find out what happened on that day, then, I, you know, I can get a really good look at that and I can see um, how many clicks there were, uh, where those came from, direct clicks, 54. And I can come down and find out what's clicked, which is just tremendous. So, and I just can't emphasize enough how powerful this feature is because uh, you really want to know what your followers want. What kind of content do they like? So uh, that is the uh, excellent features of Hootsuite in five minutes or less.